Hello everyone, Anthony Austin here. I'm going to do a uh, re gear review on my uh, last everyday carry knife that I use on active duty. Now, I've had a bunch of knives that I take on deployment. Every time I go on deployment, I, I get a new one. And because I knew I wasn't going on deployment again, I kind of packed them up and put them away as keepsakes. So I went out and bought a an inexpensive knife. I wanted something kind of new and different. So I chose this, an auto opening knife from that I bought off of Amazon for 20 bucks. I figured it was going to be a throwaway knife and get torn up and not last very long. Well, that's been over a year now. This is a Ganzo G7211. It's made in Taiwan out of 440 uh, stainless steel. Uh, he has, you know, standard pocket clip, push button operated for opening and closing. Push button, it pops open. Has a very good lockup, uh, pretty sturdy. And G, 10 handles, and all stainless steel construction. And I was very impressed with this knife for the amount I paid for it and what I put it through over the last year. I haven't used it as a pry or anything like that, but it definitely sharp enough and cuts very well. Uh, held edge very well and not overly heavy. Uh, good all around knife. It didn't come very sharp, but it just took a couple passes of sharpener to make it give it a nice edge. The blade has held up very well. I absolutely no rust on the thing. So overall, really good knife, and for less than 20 bucks. I've seen the pictures, the up close pictures. It's just really solid and worth every penny. Um, it is a three inch, three point three inch blade, uh, with seven point eight inches overall length extended. I said pros sturdy, good lockup, holds the edge well, fast opening, and the price under 20 bucks when I paid for mine. You can get them for around 22 to 25 now. Uh, they're no longer available on Amazon, I imagine, because it's push button open. And of course, push button closed. Some of the things I don't like about it is on the back of the blade and back of the handle, you'll see there's no jimping, so there's no real traction. Finger just slides right up on the bottom too. So if your hands get wet, could potentially cause problems slide up. But uh, it's not really meant for a skinning knife or a fighting knife. It's meant to, when you need to open up an MRE real fast, you just pull this out, one hand open, ready to go. Uh, one of the other things I don't like about it is in, the, in your pocket, there's no lockup. So I've actually, if you carry it, when if, you can only have it in there one way, but if you were able to, to put something in your pocket and you accidentally push a button, it's going to open up in your pocket. But luckily, it's not uh, tip up. Because if it opened up like this, you wouldn't want to reach in your pocket with it open like so. But uh, with tip down, deep carry, sits in there nice and deep in your pocket. You don't have to worry about it coming out and it's really hard to knock it open and the only other thing is when you're using it if you if you're holding the knife and you hit the button and then you move the knife you can actually knock it down but i've only done that once and uh that was my own fault for not positioning my hand better but i have yet to be able to after it's been opened i can't i can't push it down i can i i'm totally confident that i can sit there like that and not cut my fingers off how hard I push so very surprising for a knife that costs less than $30 I've had some spider co's and Gerber knives including some higher-end bokers that I, I wouldn't do that with um, I, I don't trust that well even my my go-to deployment knife the Columbia River knife and tool uh, m16 Zulus or 13 Zulus I wouldn't trust them as well as I as I trust this. Now, 
for ruggedness, I'd definitely take my my 13 Zulus over this just because I know they will never fail from past experience. But I'm, I'm really impressed with how well this knife holds up, how simple it is, how clean it stayed, and overall performance out of this. So highly recommend them. Get them while you can. They go out of stock often because they are so inexpensive. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll put a couple links in the bottom. And enjoy. Stay safe.